When the coronavirus outbreak began, we all had a series of questions for the experts. What is the Wuhan virus? How does it spread? What are the symptoms? What precautions must be taken? Four months later, we have one question. When will this end? Our next report has all the answers. When will the coronavirus pandemic end? This is a question all of us have been asking. Guess what? We may finally have the dates. Researchers at Singapore's University of Technology and Design have given timelines. This is how they look. In India, the coronavirus will end 97% by the 25th of May. That is less than a month from now. The pandemic will end 99% by the 4th of June and the coronavirus wave is likely to blow over completely by the 1st of August. The United States will have to wait till the 5th of September to completely come out of the pandemic's grip. The dates come with a warning. The pandemic could prolong if a country relaxes social distancing measures too soon. The United Kingdom is likely to contain 99% of the pandemic by the end of May. For Italy, the D-Day is the 30th of August. 2nd August is when Spain wins the coronavirus battle. In Japan, the pandemic will end 97% by the 17th of May. These numbers bring hope for the Olympic host. Researchers say that the pandemic has theoretically come to an end in China, although a small number of cases are being reported every other day. China has reported six new cases in the last 24 hours. In South Korea too, the pandemic has ended. Not surprising given Seoul's gold standard response to the Wuhan virus. Numbers also look good for New Zealand. The country is already 99% sorted. Neighbouring Australia too is 99% out of the pandemic. Vietnam and Iceland are likely to close their coronavirus logbook in May. Then there are countries where the Wuhan virus is likely to stay beyond this year. Bahrain, for instance, April 2021, say researchers. For Qatar, the date is 2nd February 2021. The research comes with some interesting footnotes. First, country-wise curves are interdependent, meaning one country's situation will affect another. Second, countries must be transparent with their data. Is China listening? Third, international borders should not be open till the pandemic ends worldwide. Fourth, domestic social distancing measures should not be lifted in a hurry. The Trump administration should take a note of this. Experts warn that the Wuhan virus is complex and evolving, and relaxing existing norms could increase the risk of exposure. Finally, they say these are projections, but for what it's worth, these figures instill a much needed sense of hope to the lockdown world. Bureau Report Beyond World is One.